If you have good coordination and strength, are good at visualizing things from drawings or plans, and like to troubleshoot, you might be interested in becoming a millwright. Millwrights install and maintain stationary industrial machinery and mechanical equipment. They may work in factories, production plants, or recreational facilities. We talked to a millwright to find out more. I'm Benjamin Cosman and I'm a millwright. A millwright is a rotating equipment specialist. They can work on conveyor belts, compressors, centrifugal pumps, anything that rotates basically. Um, we, de we deal with a lot of bearings and mechanical seals. I, was, uh, I started the RAP program in high school. Uh, the registered apprentice program is what it's called. Um, you go to school for half a day and then I would go out to Imperial Oil for half a day. And uh, yeah, it's, that's, it was a good way to start my trade. And then when I graduated, I moved on to Foster Creek in Canada in Cold Lake, Alberta. And I worked there for about two years in my apprenticeship. And then I moved to the city because I wanted to see the other side of my millwright trade. Lots of stuff in like the live industry, you, uh, you rip and replace. And I wanted to see kind of the rebuilding aspect of my job. So uh, I came to the city and ended up getting into the compressor industry. I was originally interested in being a millwright because I was, I liked mechanics, but I didn't want to work on automobiles. So I kind of found that this trade would be kind of right down my alley because you get to learn everything to do mechanically and it's not just on a certain thing. To become a millwright, you need to complete four years of apprenticeship training. Ten months of it is on the job, two months of it is in school for four consecutive years. The preventative maintenance part of being a millwright is probably the most important because if you let a machine run without anybody taking care of it, when it breaks down it's going to be a lot more of a breakdown than if you were paying attention to it, doing its regular maintenance, changing the oil, greasing the bearings, whatever you have to do to it to keep it running. Your days are very random in my job. I, uh, I never know what to expect. The work locations for a millwright they can vary from outside to indoors. You can even do pumps that are underwater. Um, in my specific job, I'm the field service millwright, so I'm all over, over northern Alberta, a lot of outdoor stuff. Being a millwright, there's a lot of safety that you have to pay attention to. Most, most machinery have emergency stops on them that you always want to be pushed in before you work on anything or close it, lock it out electrically. PPE that you need to wear, uh, fire retardant coveralls, steel toe boots, hard hat, safety glasses, and Kevlar gloves. Being a service guy, I have a van full of tools, um, all wrenches and sockets and pipe wrenches and oil filter wrenches pretty much anything that you can use. In our professional end of the millwrights, we're maintenance millwrights, so we're in a customer's face all the time. We're not just locked up behind a dirty old machine cleaning something that's broken. We're in the face of the public and in the face of customers. So the first thing I look for with the guys I hire is what did you learn at home and what can you bring to me because those are the things I can't teach you. You need to be mechanically inclined. Um, you need to have patience because pumps don't just build themselves and when you're dealing with clearances like we do it's I mean it's close tolerances so I mean a hair is could be make or break a pump but a lot of millwrights they go to planning they could become millwright planners they plan the jobs that you go and do but uh, being a millwright it gets your foot in the door for all trades because you touch on every trade while you're in the millwright trade the most satisfying part of my job is when you, when you rebuild something from tearing it right down to rebuilding it and it runs after, that always seems to put a smile on my face. Someone that would want to pursue this trade, I'd, uh, I'd definitely recommend it. It, uh, it really shows you a lot with mechanics, you get to see a lot. My job allows me quite a bit of free time on the weekends, not a whole lot during the week. but. Uh, on the weekends, I like to golf a lot. I'm happy with the career choice I made. It, uh, it puts a big smile on my face, and I, uh, 
I really like coming to work every day, learning new things every day. So I look forward to doing this for a very long time and getting better and better at my job. To become a journeyman millwright, you must find an employer who's willing to train an apprentice. To earn a journeyman certificate in the millwright trade, you will apprentice for four 12-month periods, including on-the-job training and technical training each period. If the millwright trade interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on Alice. You may also be interested in the related trades of machinist or welder. Learn more on the Alice website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.